some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, money, get some money, get some money, get some money, get some money. We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway in Southern California. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. First down, and they stick with Eckler. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 22. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call the timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Again, but he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Palmer. Touchdown. Josh Palmer from three yards out. And the Chargers will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7 0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Allen. 
Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, torn back across his body. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to Vader. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for loss yardage, they're always welcome. Second and goal from the six this time. Back to throw here. Herbert steps away. Touchdown, Chargers! Josh Palmer, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown, so... Decent sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Allen running the option to the left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. Allen now on first down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Allen hit. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. There he goes, right side. And they are going to score on the final return. Touchdown, Two, they'll kick the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken from about the 12. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. 
but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now here's the option play going left. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'll tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, someone's 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job here to force an incompletion. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he is going to have the Bills first down as that will be a gain of 15 on fourth. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Alert. Allen going to go on fourth down. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Allen's throw is complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second down, Allen has delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Allen to throw once more. And Diggs has it. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. An extra quarterback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. That will first and 10 at the 11. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him at the end zone as the first half winds down. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL. On EA Sports. And we welcome.
welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive. But maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now an option play on second down. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw, it's Allen. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there. And now fourth down. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. On play action, Allen. This one caught by Crowder. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Now Allen. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the ten-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're rolled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Again, they'll throw with Allen, sliding out of the pocket. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson, and the Chargers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. 54 yards on the ground for him so far. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end of the half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. It's a gain of 35. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. 
Running on first down, Eckler. He'll take this to the 46. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second and seven, Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Herbert operating from the red zone. They'll find Everett there, complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Herbert. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Eckler diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well, because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point forthcoming. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Allen now looks to throw. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. They'll run with Cook, and they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Bills are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. That's caught at the one. And he's going to get into the end zone for two. And they're back within two scores. Down 15 now. So still lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the 
coaches tell us, but when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Room here to run. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches have had a reliable running game. They breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Here's Herbert. Caught by Allen. Touchdown! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 24. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. And this is Cook with a grab. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in four pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one is intercepted. And they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass. Picked it off. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an outside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. They're going to pass here with Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. From the 17, Herbert. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. 
from the left hash. This from 34. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Here's Allen to throw it. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. On first down, Allen rolling to his left. And Cook has it, left side. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now Allen again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, Keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion. Force them into goal for three. And now give it up six. To the air. Allen. Forced out to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it looks like the Chargers are going to win this thing. The Charger drive about to get going. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach only stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted.
right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. I ain't going nowhere, 20 year career minimum. Call hit boy for beats, ask for 10 of them. I don't follow trends, my, my I swing the pendulum. If the, if the bag good, I'm gonna give us some. Let's reflect times, I try to collect minds from complex rhymes. And by the way, shut out Tech Nine. Uh, go and shut the, shut the up, just let me talk. I'm a time bomb that's waiting to go off. Quite nuclear, amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar, although I'm truly a renaissance starter. My mind divine, it take me a lot farther. Growing up, I really had beef with my father. But why bother explaining my feelings? Try harder, but either way, they gon' paint you the villain. Eight months with no phone, dog, we aiming for brilliance. High level maintaining the building, we making a killing. I write my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once more, here's Eckler. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line, got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early and hope it can carry through. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Herbert now. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. 
And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incomplete shot first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Now it's Herbert. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. The clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 44 yard line. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Out to the right, here's McKinnon. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first and 10, here's Mahomes to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And he's gonna be brought down at about the 16. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. From the gun on third down, the Holmes. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. But in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily, though. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding onto the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. On second down, Eckler. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? When you go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, Herbert. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Mahomes now on first down, out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. 21 yards there, a big play on fourth down. And again, it's Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. But he's certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage is in lockdown mode everywhere. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waiting moments of quarter number two. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. 
Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And hey Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Second down, McKinnon. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handle it a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes going to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Throwing is Mahomes on third. A dump down to McKinnon. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. To Valdez Scantling over the middle, and the tackle going to be made at the 38. Mahomes now on first down. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. To throw once more on second and 10. Mahomes, and he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 24-yard line. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And able to work his way down to the 16. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here again is McKinnon. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look. And McKinnon is in for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and the lead is now 17-3. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Here's 
The Charger drive about to get going. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On first down, Justin Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 34. Herbert now. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. To throw again on second down. Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And out of bounds right around the 20. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. This is caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The extra point splits the uprights, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And some space here. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 59 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run once more with McKinnon. And he's got Rome. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The 
Charger drive about to get going. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll get... He's got a man complete! Touchdown! Mike Williams, 75 yards. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play. So essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one if people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. It's McKinnon. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now again, this is McKinnon. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And even 150 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. I think you're exactly right about that. To me, it's just a pair of offenses is trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game for them.
And I keep getting stronger. My limits the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine, cause I want to. Hey, I pull the sword out the bow to walk a floor full of cobras. Go to war with you all, we can brawl to the toe. I can tighten loops in my lace and make lightning lose in a race. I make fire cool and come back from the triangle and Bermuda. I can suit up, live in the moon up, working and outsmart and computers. I can outswim all the tuna, and that's without a scuba. So in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time traveling a surprise. Make graveyards full of lies. Break the immortal down to his demise. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. I come alive in the dark. And I keep getting stronger. Tonight I hunt with the pride. You can't take my pride away. I can sing with the birds and the trees in the morning. Or all like the stars way. We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They snap it to Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. one to Eckler, and he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front, because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and 10. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at them. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Running on first down, Eckler. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. It's Eckler again. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That one a first down pickup of eight. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, 
you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues, and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he will get in across the trail for Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. An extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 7-0. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. to lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go play fake. Mahomes. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't he need to be a break? And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And the next gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The Charger drive about to get going. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. Got a man, it's complete, it's Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should
should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's George Karloftis greeting him behind the line with a big stop. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Back to throw here, Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled them a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost, and then a little bit more. From the 50, here's Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. They only got a couple, but a couple is all that they needed as they convert on fourth. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. First down, and they stick with Eckler. Down inside the 40. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he comes back with one complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And just a short game that time as they're able to get him down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Good work there, holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Mahomes takes it himself, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point by Bunker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. 
And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen. It's intercepted. Picked off by Legere Sneed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal? In case of a defense, they wanted to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. And able to get this out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He's got this to Williams complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. These guys have definitely been out in the first half. I like their confidence. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Up the middle they go. McKinnon. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Mahomes now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're able to work Mahomes. this across midfield to the 48. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantlick. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Mahomes firing complete. Evades him at the 10. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Third and short, McKinnon. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Now here's Mahomes. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's McKenna. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. That would be a little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. On first and ten, Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. And the Chargers... And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Herbert on first down now. He's got it to Williams. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Herbert now. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they played this entire game? Not only did they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Justin Reed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back to the score. Carter hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle with Eckler. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and six from the 10. Now it's Herbert. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Eckler now between the tackles. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. 14. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. 
And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. McKinnon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Second down, McKinnon. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. That's complete to Tony. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. Run it up, touchdown, I'm 